I think of all the applications that you can do with tuna, you know, seared, eaten raw, tuna tartare. You know, a lot of times we see tuna in sushi restaurants or on crudes. I've never seen it on top of hot pasta. It is an epiphany of flavors and it is delicious. We didn't want to be the typical chicken parmesan restaurant. We knew that from the get-go that this was not what this was gonna be. I like to be a little bit different. To be a little adventurous. The past two years I've got to go to Italy, I try to bring back some of those ideas and some of the food that I see there. I'd say it's modern Italian. Mike, what do you think is underrated in pastry? I mean, like, fruit's always an uphill battle anyway. People want chocolate, or fruit with chocolate on it. I'll be making the carrot cake today. I just wanted to take something that people were familiar with and still kind of give them that, but do it in a different way. Uh, I thought regular carrot cake, I've always kind of enjoyed it, but what I didn't like about it was the shredded carrots that were in the cake. I mean, it's a spice cake with just chunks of carrots in it. It still tastes good, but I don't like my stuff with chunks in it. So I thought of a way of like, well, what if I took the weight of the carrots and converted it and just used the juice and kind of made like a carrot juice cake out of it. Right here what I have is a carrot curd that I make. It's made with agar, carrot juice, eggs, butter. It's delicious. I call it a ganache, but it's more like a whipped coconut panna cotta. Then next we have just the carrot cake itself. I figured why not have more of it. Then afterwards I have a passion fruit foam. Got a lot of, it's almost like shaving cream, really, at the consistency. Something special, a little bit of edible gold leaf. Probably one of the most interesting ingredients ever. I mean, you can only get gold from you know, the dying star. It's awesome how you can just eat that on your plate now. I have a couple little celery leaves on here. It kind of goes with the theme of the carrot, but also like the slight bitterness, so it's just more than just show. And then you finish with a couple of flowers. Just something light, nice. Most of these are marigold flowers. Tina's carrot cake. Would you serve it like cut and... Oh, no, not at all. You, you just go, you just mash the hell out of it. There's no sausage and peppers here. There's no chicken florentine or your spaghetti and tomato sauce. And we do do those things, but that's not the theme of the restaurant. The theme is to put ourselves out there and to give everybody the experience of having something different.